Hello everyone, and today, we're back with another Lubian Legacy PvP video, and in this video, we're going to be showcasing the new roamer, Nemesis. Nemesis is basically Nemeray, but instead of it being a light air type, it's a dark air type, meaning this actually is the same typing that Dragodyne has, but what does Nemesis have that Dragodyne doesn't? So, it has the exact same stats as Nimeray. It has 100 speed, 122 range defense, and 119 ranged attack. With a pretty high energy stat, decent melee defense, not good melee attack, and good base health. The TPs on this Nemesis set is 36 in the health TPs, 64 in the energy puts us at 300, 200 in the range attack, and 200 in the speed. I have imposed as the ability, but the secret ability is pitch black. So you want to hunt for a secret ability. The secret ability, Nemesis, is better. And that's so your Dark Surge can actually do more damage. Now the moves that Nemesis has, it has Dark Surge, Jetstream, Pepper Burst, and Peace of Mind. You could run other moves like Hypnotize. Hypnotize could work as well. And you could also run Perch and Gust. So, those are some other options you could run. Provoke is also another option you could run on this thing as well. There's a lot of different moves that you could run. But I'm going to try to use three moves with Peace of Mind. And I'm going to see how it does. And yeah, like I said, it's a Dark Air type. I have Dark Essence as my item. And I have Pure Nimble as my personality. The team I have around Nemesis is I have Zulong that can pivot with Ancient Roar and Zip Zap. I got to Clips because this thing is just very good to have on a team. I got Colossotrops because Colossotrops and Nemesis does very well together. I got Cleone as Slow Pivot with Dissipate. I got Crackalola, which can get rid of Barbs with Burn Up. And I got Himber because I'm pretty weak to Electric type Lumion, so I wanted to have an Electric Immunity that wasn't Gargolem Defense form. So if that out of the way, let's see how Nemesis will do in battle. Before I do my showcase video, I do want to show y'all on how y'all can get Nemesis. And what y'all need to do is get 150 cake points in this event. You go to this guy and you need to buy the Devil's Food Cake. And then once you have a Devil's Food Cake, you need to go all the way over here. There's a summoning area in the Halloween portion of this event. It's up there somewhere. So yeah, you need to get one of the Devil Cakes. Go up here, and then this is how you could summon Nemesis and catch it. And thankfully, this thing isn't that hard to catch. All you gotta do is just put the Devil's Food Cake on it, and then bang, the Roamer spawns, and yeah. You can battle it, you can catch it, you can use it for TP training, Gamma Hunt, Secret Ability Hunt, everything. So yeah, you this is how you can find Nemesis, and if you want to catch it, this is how you do it. So, let's head straight into the battles. All right, we're into battle number one with Nemesis, and this is a very interesting team. This isn't a team you see every day. This actually, no, this is. This is. This is a rain team. We can confirm that this is a rain team. Is that good or bad for me? Kind of bad. I gotta bring you because there's a Livatross, and that could be melee. Yeah, yeah, Livatross could be rough. Forced to bring Zulong. Zulong is kind of a force to bring. Uh, I might even lead off with it. Yeah, Crackalola is really... Although Crackalola can disable the rain. Even though it is a terrible matchup, it can disable the rain. Which could help us. I think I'm just going to bring Colossotrops though. I didn't expect to see rain team... Team 1. Uh... I don't know what should be the last Lumion. To Clips? I mean, it could be good for the Holly. But that's kind of it, really. I could bring the crack to get rid of the rain. But no, it's going to be very hard to do that. So I think it's just better to do this. Yeah, let's bring to Clips. I don't think Crackalola is worth bringing. Even if I could disable the rain, I don't think it's threat play. Well, this is a great lead for me. He has no zip zap immunity. So we just zip zap right off the bat and get some free damage on something. So yeah, that's why I like with Zulong. This is a Boots Zulong, so this will outspeed a Canapo. By the way, the choice items have been added, so yeah, the choice items have been added, meaning 50 to 100 new showcase ideas have been made just because of the addition of the choice items, so yeah. Choice Metatoad with Zip Zap. That's going to be fun. Don't know why he stayed in there. Canapo's already dead. Now, I'm gonna go into... I'll go Cleone. Reason why I'm gonna go Cleone is so I can actually dissipate out. 
either dissipate out or I could do something else. I'm kind of not sure, honestly. I'm kind of not sure what the plan is here. If he go, if he brings the Ludrix, I'm strategizing to do damage because he could just go Lavatross right there. He goes Akalos, actually. And Akalos is pretty bad news for the team. I can't let him set up too many drudges, so I'm actually going to dissipate this turn. Yeah, he went for a drudge this turn. Which means I'm kind of in trouble. I have an idea. Oh yeah, I have an idea, actually. I have an idea. I can Ancient Roar... I can Ancient Roar the Akalos, because I have boots, so I should be able to outspeed the Akalos. I can Ancient Roar it. Yeah, he's thinking I'm gonna give him that Rageful. I'm not giving you a Rageful. I'm gonna lower your attack, go into Colossa, and try to do some damage to you. I think that's gonna be the plan here. Let's do that, actually. So if he attacks me, which he does with an Ice Hammer, I could live that. Now, can plus two frail armor do enough? Now, can plus two frail armor outspeed the Akalos? That's the big question. I get my frail armor off. Yeah, who outspeeds this matchup? I don't know, actually. I kind of want an outburst, but I'm going to T-Thrash. I outspeed the matchup. Awesome! Say goodbye to the Akalos. So the Akalos sweep is over. My Colossatrops is kind of dead, though, too, but hey. The damage has been done. The damage has been done. Goes into Wintrex. Let's just KO the Wintrex. Let's just KO it. I don't care. I'm just going to go for the Timber Thrash. And that's so it doesn't set up or do something ridiculous. Because I have, I want to bring in my new Lumion. I want to bring in my new Lumion if I can. Of course it's a Clutch Plushie. At least now that I know that it... Now I know that it is a Clutch Plushie. Hopefully it doesn't gust. No, it frosts me. So... I can confirm outspeed the Lintrix, so I can actually go in the Nymesis here, and I can make a play. So Nymesis will come in for the first time. I'm gonna go for the Jetstream because he switches into, like, the Lintrix. I want to get as much damage as I possibly can. So yeah, this is perfect. This outspeeds because I'm pure nimble. Unless this is a very nimble Lintrix, which I heavily doubt. Okay, switch. I made the right play. Yeah, that was not the right play. That was not the right play. That was not the right play. That's dead Deludrix. That's a dead Deludrix. So he probably has Lava? Yeah, but... Okay, he has Dakuda. Does Dakuda Oko me in one hit? Yeah, I know his last two. I know his last one's Wintrix. So, yeah, we just go for the Dark Surge and do as much damage as we can. I don't know if your boots are not. What could it- yeah, it's gonna do the Electro Burst, so I might as well just go for the flinch. I don't think Nymesis is gonna do that much in this battle. To be fair, the Colossatrops just put in the work. So, honestly, let's just go for the flinch down and do as much damage to the Kuda as we can. Thing is, if we can get rid of the Kuda, we can win the battle. We can win the battle, we can get rid of the Kuda. We definitely outspeed this, cause he Soul Burst it. We went for the flinch play. Actually did a decent chunk. Oh, it can, but I lived that, actually. You should have went for the Electro Burst there, because if you went for the Electro Burst, that would have actually KO'd the Nymesis. Now I have another chance to get a flinch and just have Nymesis win. But hey, I'll take it. Oh my god, it'd be a big mistake. Massive mistake. We'll go for another Dark Surge, and he forfeit it. Let's head it to battle number two. All right, battle number two of Nymesis. It actually did decent at battle number one. And battle number two, Tyronix is not great. Eliguana? Okay, I can hit. This outspeeds with boots, though, so that's raw. This is a team that's going to be kind of tough. Pepper Burst can hit a lot of stuff, though. Biggest thing is I got to play this battle right. It's going to be down to if I can play this battle correctly, because there's a Tyronix, and that thing is kind of bad news against my team. I'm debating. Is Colossal Chops a good bring? No, it's terrible, actually. It's terrible in this battle. Plus, I'd rather bring this so I can actually have a swap into Eliguana. And that will be what I do. Yeah, that'll be what I did. So he's gonna try to lead off Land Torch, I assume. He's gonna lead off Land Torch. Let off Avra, actually. 
You know what? It's actually not a bad idea. I have a feeling he's going to Ancient Roar because Zip Zap is kind of obvious. I'm just going to Ancient Roar. Oh, he stayed in. Wow. I didn't think he was going to stay in, honestly. Did he driving his force? Is he... Hmm. Who would I go in now? I mean, I can go Himber and it just... Yeah, I think Kimber could be the play. I think Kimber is the play. It sucks, but I think I'm, I think it is the play. Yeah, it's a quick Sprawn boost, but I weakened it. He's only at plus one. I, I click Ice Hammer. This thing is dead. I have Quick Punch too, so if it's like Clutch Plushy, I like who cares? So yeah, I, it doesn't Oko me at one hit. It doesn't do enough damage. Okay, it does a lot more than I thought though. Jeez, does a lot more than I thought. Yeah, Avertross hits hard. It hits so hard. So hard. At least it's dead, though. And that's gonna make that Eliguana look a lot better for later. It's gonna make that Eliguana look a lot better later in the game. I don't I don't know if Nemesis could live a plus one Thunder Crash. Oh, yeah, that was the play there. Yeah, that thing's a problem. I don't have anything for it. Fire Breath is kind of free. Hmm... What move would it go for? Would it go for the... I doubt it goes for the fire move. I don't think it goes for the fire move. It's way too predictable. I'm going to Clips. He's predicting my Cleone. He predicts Cleone. Yeah, I predict the Cleone. Okay, I got that, at least. So, I now outspeed the Land Torch. So, what's the play? So, he has an Eliguana. He has an Eliguana. He has a Nevermare. So, Nevermare, Lachette. I think we just Dark Surge. I think we just Dark Surge. I don't think he has a swap in the Dark Surge. Looking at his team, I don't think he has a swap in the Dark Surge. Yeah, that's his best switch. I could have probably palmed. To be fair, I probably should have palmed because the tree is very bulky. Yeah, the tree is pretty bulky. I should have just palmed, honestly. That probably should have been the play. And I also don't have a swap into the shed either. Wow, I really don't. Does... I'll go to Nymesis. I hope it doesn't have Ice Hammer. Although these things... The sheds can run Ice Hammer from time to time. They can also run Icicle Traps from time to time, too. But I don't know if this person knows that this thing runs Pepper Burr, Which is actually a great move for this. That's going to KO the Lachette. Oh, actually... Yeah, it's very bulky. Wow, it's very bulky. It's very bulky, and it's Ice Hammer as well. I think I can live one now. Barely. But I definitely don't live another hit. Meaning I'm going to have to go for another play. I'm going to go for... What would be the best play? Dark Surge, I think is the play. Shock that didn't KO, honestly. Lashen is very bulky. Do I just... Yeah, Dark Surge. Yes, he switched Eliguana. Yeah! Okay, please do at least half. I don't know if it will, though, because I'm not the secret ability. The secret ability... Oh, it's Shade Pro, anyway. Well, rip. I might as well just Dark Surgeon and get it down to no health. Kind of all I can do here. That's kind of all I can do. It sucks. Maybe I can get another flinch, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it does. that would have done half, still. Oh, it tased. Oh, I wish I lived that. If I lived that... I could have had another attack. Instead, I gotta go. Hmm. Hmm. I actually I have an idea. I'm gonna go Himber, and I'm gonna try to get Icicle Traps up. And that's so his Lachette is done and can put. That's so his Lachette is done and can put, because he's gonna try to rejuvenate to try to keep his Eliguana alive. And what does he do? Mudslide? It dies to Earthquake. I forced him to mudslide. Okay, maybe that wasn't the right play, honestly. Yeah, I didn't bring my Crackalola, meaning the traps stay up for the rest of the battle. I didn't really think that through. Yeah, I kind of didn't think that through, honestly. I didn't think that one through. Yeah, I didn't think the mudslide through. Oh, I actually outspeed the Eliguana. Okay. 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 Yeah, and it just rejuvenates. Okay. So now, now he can't go back Lachette. I can Earthquake. I know they outspeed this. He has to switch into Lachette, which dies to the trap. So Lachette's dead. I could save Himber. I could save Himber. 
I could save Hember for specifically the Eliguana. And I have to Clep still. I have to Clep as well, so I think I'll be... Oh, I keep forgetting about the land port. I don't know why I let that go down. He could have saved his Lachette. He could have saved his Lachette. This time I'll go Cleone. I'll this time go Cleone. Predicting the fire move. Yep, went fire move that time. Are you doing do, do or die? You are do or die. Now I go for the dissipate on the incoming Eliguana. Yeah, on the incoming Nevermare. Alright, the incoming Nevermare. Yeah, the Nevermare does throw a does throw a curveball at us. The Nevermare throws a curveball at us. The Nevermare throws a curveball at us because Zulong can beat it. Honestly, Zulong can beat the rest of his team besides the Eliguana. I'm gonna Ancient Roar because of that. Yep, keep the momentum. Keep the momentum going. That's the best thing we can do in this situation. Keep the momentum. Keep the momentum going. That's the best thing we can do in this situation. And now, I gotta make a play. I gotta make a play. Himber's my win con. Alright. I go for the Ice Hammer. To predict the... Does he sack the... Okay. Does he go Nevermare and take traps? Or does he go Land Torch to get rid of the traps? Either way, Ice Hammer's still the best play. Yes! Nevermare's out! Nevermare's out! Yes! I didn't want Nevermare to get free leverage. Yes! I didn't want Nevermare to get leverage. That was perfect. I did not want Nevermare to get leverage. Eclipse can beat Eliguana. Eclipse, I think, just wins now. I could still save this thing, though, too. I could still just save it. There's a reason why. Honestly, I could just kind of sack the... Honestly, I could sack the Zulong. Zulong is not needed. Am I sure? Yeah, two left. Uh-oh, I'm lagging. Here we go. I could just sack Zulong. There's no reason to keep Zulong anymore in this battle. There's no reason. No reason to keep Zulong in this battle. There's no reason. There's no reason. He just went for Flash and Flea. I could care less. I could seriously care less because his Land Torch is taking more damage. And now he has to throw away his Eliguana and he's kind of in trouble. He's in trouble now. I have both Cleone and the... Uh oh, I'm lagging now. Yeah, the lag has been bad. I'm kind of lagging badly. I might have to... I might have to call the showcase if it, if it continues to lag. I've assisted decent, though. It did pretty good in battle number one. It didn't do really that much in this one, though. Yeah, Eliguan is dead. Yeah, we're good. We're pretty... We're in pretty good shape versus Land Torch. We're in pretty good shape versus Land Torch. Because we have a Teclipse and a... We have a Teclipse and a Cleone in the back. And if it is a Boots Land Torch, it's gonna be stuck in a move, so there's really nothing this thing can do. Especially if we get a little extra chip on it with a Quick Punch. Might as well get a little bit of extra chip, plus, who knows, maybe a Flail won't kill me. No, I just went for the Fire Breath, so yeah. I think he's stuck. I don't think there's anything the Land Torch can do. I just go to Clips, and I just win now. I just go for a Dark Surge. I think even a Fire... I think even a Fire Breath crit would not KO me, so... I think we're in the best position we possibly could. We're going to go for the Dark Surge. Yep, it is boot, so my Cleone would have been fine. Still does a lot of damage, though. Maybe a crit would have KO'd me with the traps. Maybe. That's a GG, so that was actually a very good battle. Nymesis didn't do that much, but it was a good battle, nonetheless. Let's head into battle number three. All right, we're into battle number three with Nymesis, and let's see what you have. Okay. Uh... I don't know. I don't... This actually doesn't look like the best battle. I mean, it could be good for this. If I can get it low. Problem is, everything outspeeds it. <laughs> everything outspeeds it is the problem. This is where having a slow speed stat kind of sucks. Oh, uh, yeah, this definitely is not a great battle for Nymasus at all. Wow, and this is pure offense. Pure offense and a half. I want to break the clip so badly. So badly want to bring to clips. Oh, I want to bring it. 
The clips could be so good. He doesn't have like any traps other than potential Gargolum, maybe? Or Nova traps, maybe? Oh no. No, no, you don't run traps. Or I guess you could run Icicle traps. Mm, I kind of don't know what to run here. I want to lead Zulong because Ancient Roar is kind of free, and if he doesn't lead with that, it's good. Sorry about that, I'm back in. I think I'm going to stick with this team. I think I'm going to keep the clips in the back. That might be a bad idea. Okay, he led with Billow. He led with Billow Forge. I'm going to go for the Ancient Roar right off the bat, honestly. You know what? I'm going to go for the Ancient Roar. I don't know what the Billow's going to do, though. Because if he goes for the Fire move, my Nymacist is dead. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> nope, he went for the Earthquake. So I made the right play there. Jetstream Okos this, I think. I think it Okos. I don't know, though. This, this thing doesn't necessarily hit the hardest. So we'll see. We'll see if this thing actually Okos. Maybe I should have went for a palm. But yeah, Nymesis comes on in. Yeah, I could probably live unless it's unless it's Kindled Rage, which it's not. I think it's a switch into. Oh, you messed up! Oh, you messed up! That's big boy damage. I think Dark Dirge actually KOs because I have the Essence, which actually makes it hit harder. I think this actually KOs the Dakota. I hope it does. Oh, I hope it does. Please do it. You can do this. Nymesis, you can do this, please, for the showcase. If I was secret ability, this would easily KO, but I'm not. No, it went for that. I should have switched. I should have switched. I should have switched. I am D E A D dead. Unless I flinch it again. <laughs> Unless I flinch it, so I guess that is possible, maybe. Because, yeah, it gains HP. Flinch it? Flinchy flinch? No. Why are they clicking Gamma Pulse? I don't die to that! Well, I can still save you for Billow, then. I'll go for the Jet Stream in case you, like, switch out or something. In case you switch out a Billow Forge for no reason. Why are they clicking Gamma Pulse? I don't get it! Electro Burst is right there! Hey, I'll take it! More footage! Oh, I don't know why it's clicking Gamma. I guess because it thinks it can KO it, but it has Nimmeray stats. What? What? Well, Billow Forge is dead! Nymesis did exactly what it needed to do! <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do anything else, though, because everything else outspeeds it. Unless his Nova isn't nimble, which it will be probably. Yeah, there's no fun. And who comes into this? Oh, oh yeah. Who swaps into this? Nothing. Okay, yeah. Who who swaps into Nova? Fun fact: Who swaps into Nova? Do I just hope to outspeed it? But no, it's gonna be nimble. Every Nova DS in the world runs nimble. Do I just let it go down? I mean, everything else. Uh, I could potentially get a Colossatrops play here, and though. You know what? If he goes for Boiling Press or Ice Hammer, I could potentially get something here. Boiling Press, dang. Okay, at least I outspeed. Now I go. I have to attack it. I kind of just have to attack it. It's going to live the hit, but I kind of have to just attack it. It sucks! I have to attack it. If I don't attack it, the Nova's gonna stay alive even longer, and it's just gonna do some... And then it's just gonna completely destroy my team. So, yeah. Yeah! I just gotta do half damage and hope I can KO it next turn. Goodbye, Colossa. Goodbye. Now we go for the Zulong play. Revenge kill it. Click Eburst, because that's the best play to go regardless. E-Burst is the best play because I can actually just, you know, it does the most damage. And if he goes into Gargolem right after, I can do damage to it as well. I don't know if his Gargolem is Clutch Plushy. Judging by his team, I think his Gargolem is Clutch Plushy. And his Helvantic is Boots. That's what I think. And his Shyanta 
is priority power cuffs. That's what I think his team setup is. That's what I think. I, I don't think it's plushy Shianta. He, yeah, he went Gargolem because he didn't want to... He was thinking I was going to zip zap, but I'm, I don't fall for... Actually, that might be Boots Gargolem. What is this? So is Shianta is his clutch plushy then. Shianta's is clutch plushy then. Okay. Yeah, this is a very interesting play. I don't have anything else to outspeed, so I think Nymesis has to come in here. This sucks. Nymesis has to come in here. I have to throw this away. Shirt Blast? Yeah. I love that really well. Holy. Nymesis? If Nymesis can get a hit off, that could be huge. His... I know one of them is an injured Dakuda at no health, which every, anything could defeat. Let's see. If I can outspeed the Pharaoh here, this could be big for me. Actually, I might just be able to live a hit. I think I just got Nymesis back into the battle. I think I get a big hit on it. I don't think I KO the Pharaoh. But I think I can get it low. And I can get it into Zulong range. And I think Zulong can clean up. This is perfect. I wonder that he switched. Nova's dead. Nova is D-E-A-D -E dead. And that's going to definitely KO it. It does a lot of damage. Nice. Especially with the secret ability. I don't have the secret ability, unfortunately. I don't know what they will do with Impose, honestly. I don't know. Oh my god, this is another KO right here. And we just do three Dark Searches and we win. We outspeed! Unless this is a Jolt Dakuda and I didn't know that it has Jolt, even though I don't think it does. Oh my god, Nymesis kicked butt in this battle. Nymesis? Honestly, is very good and I'm just doing the three attack set. Like, this is probably the easiest set to use. There are probably a lot more creative ways you can run with this. I think you can run Barter, you can run Gust, you can run Hypnotize, you can run Perch provoke there's definitely a lot more creative ways to run this yeah as expected it did live to hit and i think i'm dead but nymesis did what it needed to do i will not complain at all not complain at all for what it did in this battle we go into zulong we go for the ggs i go for the e-burst and that is a cleanup that is a nymesis showcase a successful nymesis showcase that was really good it actually shockingly did very well in this battle actually did pretty well in the three battles i did it in be fair it probably would have been different if the dakuda went for electro blast instead of gamma pulse but hey i really do love its design i think the nemesis design looks amazing the fact that it has pepper burst coverage does make it stand out compared to drago i don't know if it's better than drago dine i'm not sure I gotta do a little bit more testing on that. I do think Drago is better, but we'll see. We will see. But yeah, Nymesis is a very solid roamer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Nymesis, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!